Hi everyone, my name is Ritesh and you are watching Dancing with Data. Here is my website where I talk about data analytics, tab, low power, BI, so forth and so on. I have one another BI project based YouTube channel where I talk about BI projects, whether it is Tableau, Power BI, so forth and so on. Please check my description and comment section to find the link for the same. And friends, today's topic is how to create an slicer because basically the default slicer is of all type. So when I say odd type, that means when you select the subcategories, for example, in this case, appliances, art and binders. So the output that you will have shows all the customer names having either appliances, art or binders. I have sorted this in the ascending order of customer name. So you can see the first example, Alex over there. So it shows that Alex is having subcategories as appliances and binders. It is not having arts over there if you if you just notice over there, but it comes down as far as output is concerned because it, it is of all type. In simple words, any of the customers over there, if they have only one out of three subcategories selected over there, will feature in this list. Another example, Adam, and you can see he is having only binders, but but his name is there because it's slicer, basically slicer is of all type. You know that, right? But then don't you think that sometimes and slicer will be more beneficial and i can tell you my use case because i work uh, in the learning and development uh, department so there instead of subcategories if you think about the skill like python tableau power bi so resource management team they are interested to see the candidates the consultants having end means they, they need to have tableau and power bi and snowflake and uh, Java, so forth and so on. It should not be of all type. You're getting my point? So th that's a real scenario. But even if you think about this scenario where you are filtering with subcategories here also, in case if you want to filter customers with and condition instead, you, you want to see that who all customers are there, who bought all the three subcategories over there because it can help you remember these all information are quite vital and it can help you to decide later in the future that you know whom to contact maybe for if you have different subcategories to offer then whom you would like to contact or from where you are likely to get more sales so you will act accordingly so if you're looking for a similar scenario, you have come to the right place. This can be one of the easiest way is that you will find so first of all, let us try to understand the logic, uh, what we want to achieve. I think that is clear, but then how we how we can achieve the same? What could be the logic? The logic is simple. First of all, we need to write one DAX or maybe initially we can say we'll write it separately and later on we we'll make use of the variables to make it one single DAX. So one formula we need or say one line we need to get the number of selections or say number of subcategories that you will select right now. It is three. Okay. And you need need another DEX calculation which will show the number of distinct subcategories for a particular customer name. So if you talk about LX, we you you can see over there appliances and binders. So the count is two. After count you will compare this two or distinct count of subcategories with respect to a customer to the overall number of subcategories being selected over there. So if it is equal, then filter. If it is not equal, then remove it as simple as that logic is this okay so first of all we will write a logic for the overall number of subcategories that you will select with this slicer so let us write a new measure i go to order i say new measure okay so the name is subcategory selection count the overall one so i will say calculate calculate what distinct count of uh, subcategory right fair enough and after that, the filter expression, in this case, we all I'm again and again, I'm saying all selected. So the all selected one is the most appropriate one. And inside that, I will put the table name. That is the orders. And I'll just readjust it. So here you go. I'll just press enter. And let's see. As per our scenario, what the output it will give. So I'll just add this to our table. This is the one that we have and it is giving us three, which is correct because right now we have selected three subcategories over there, right? This looks great. Okay. So the next one is that how we can count 
the number of subcategories per custom. So what I said per custom. Look, all selected is the main hero for this scenario. So we need to understand what it is. And it says that it removes the context filters from the columns and rows in the current query while retaining all other context filter or explicit filters. So if you see that very particular slicer is the explicit filters. So it will respect that explicit filters and that's what we want. Fair enough. So this is the next text function that we are going to use subcategory selection by customer. Now there is a slight difference over here. If you see calculate distance count, this is uh, similar to what we had earlier. Here also we are making use of all selected, but look at the second part over here. Filter all selected orders and we say that orders customer ID is equal to minimum customer ID. In other words, we are creating partition or on customer ID or say customer name, customer ID in this case. So it will check or it will say count the number of distinct subcategories for that very particular customer. In this case, AA10315 or we can say Alex. So for Alex, it should come as two. So let's see if this formula works. So let's go and add this formula. Okay, first of all, let us click on this one and add this very particular text function. Here we go. Now, now if I just try to scroll to the right hand side, I think it is coming great because for Alex, it says two. For Alan, we can say art and binder, so it's two. For Andrew, it's only one. So we are not going to select all these because we are searching for customers having all the subcategories selected. So we want three equal to three scenario. So if we just go down, here we go. For Han Chong, you can say appliances, you can say art, and you can say binders. So you have all the three. So now it's simple. Now you would have guessed that what we want. We want to have one filter condition where we will say this equal to this. So when this is equal to that one, then uh, we can say that it is one or else zero, and then we can filter. The next step is simple. We are, we are doing nothing but just making use of variable. You have the same formulas over there, same DAX. At the end, we are returning, right? If this is equal to this, then give us one. Otherwise, give us zero. Here you go. We press enter. Now both formulas are same only. And now we will add this as well, right? Filter and condition, right? So let's see. Again, scroll to the right hand side. It will take some time. And here you go. So wherever you have one, that means, yeah, we want Alkin Sandra. Okay. The other person appliances is art and bind is great. And we want Adam Hart as well because appliances is art and bind us. So this looks great. And what I'll do, I'll go to, I'll just collapse and expand filter. And from there we can see we do have filter and hand condition. And here you go. We say is one. We want only one and apply filter. And here you go. It took some time, but then we can see. And we were talking about the appliances, art and binders. Alcan Alexandra. Wow. Arthur. Adam Hart. You remember Bret Hart, the wrestler. So you can see you are able to filter all the customers having all the subcategories being, being selected on the right hand side. So this is the formula for you. And I hope this very particular tutorial was beneficial for you. And if there is a similar requirement, you can go ahead and make use of this text function. If you want me to create any new video on a certain topic, you can just put the topic name at the comment section. If it, this was beneficial for you, I would like to hear from you how it was or if there is a better way to do the same thing. I'll be eager to see that as well. So there it is signing off from Dancing with Data. Because data is data.